Western Navajo Fair. Everybody's putting up their, or reserving their parade spots. You got this guy here on an ATV. Things get wild here. But um, hopefully everybody's good. The guy didn't even have a helmet on, but you know, hopefully bro uses common sense. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm actually headed out to Phoenix right now. Um, gonna be flying out tonight, taking a red-eye flight to Chicago. Then uh, have that layover for a bit. Get on from Chicago to Cleveland. From Cleveland on, I'll be uh, picked up and taking this trip with the uh, co-owner of a math textbook series called Big Ideas Math. Uh, the cool thing is that they also partner with National Geographic. How this came about, it came from the Presidential Awards for Excellence for Math and Science Teachers. Um, so great opportunities do come by and I do appreciate these kind of things. These, these blessings and also to be a voice for indigenous peoples and uh, I think that indigenous representation is is vital um, our kids need to see themselves in mathematics because we don't see ourselves in that I'm gonna go with a grande pike. A grande pike? Did you want anything in it? No, just black. You got it. What else for you? That'll do it. Okay, so your trouble's gonna be free from me. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, we made it to Flagstaff. I just called my mom, letting her know what I'm doing this weekend and um, where I'm going, things like that. So. Be sure to always let your mom know where you go. That's the rule of thumb. All right, so you're never too old to to let mom or your dad or wherever your caretaker is to let you let them know where you're at. Um, I think it's not only out of courtesy, but you know it's a safety thing too. You know, so I'm still gonna let my mom when I know when I get to Phoenix, when I get to the airport, when I land in Chicago, when I leave Chicago, when I land in Cleveland, when I leave Cleveland, when I when I uh, get to Pennsylvania, and same thing on the way back. Never too old to, to let your, your mom know. Pretty much, um, no matter how old you get, you know, you're, you always have mom and dad, you always, uh, you're always, you're always going to be their children. Then uh, when you have kids, you're always going to be wondering where are your kids at? Are they safe? So, and that's not just up until they turn 18. That's, <laughs> that's for life.
Chicago. Oh, it's uh, it's been a while since I've been back to Chicago. We used to live here um, a long time ago, and um, learned a lot of stuff. Learned a lot about the ironworking trade, ornamental ironworking, structural ironworking, reinforcing ironworking. It's good stuff. Well, we're just waiting to board. Headed to Cleveland today, Ohio, and then from there we're gonna get picked up and take a hour and a half drive to Erie, Pennsylvania. But it's pretty busy. Um, Chicago is actually one of those uh, main hubs, those airport hubs in America. And so, a lot of people. Sun's finally coming up. It's now, I think, about almost 6.40 right now. So, more to come. baggage uh, claim a gentleman's gonna meet me there and then pick me up from the airport and then we're gonna have an hour and a half drive to Erie Pennsylvania hey Tim nice to meet you Tim Two. Hold on, I'm putting on my mask. I want you to be able to recognize me. So that's okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> How was your flight? It was good. It Great. was good. Great. Did you get any sleep at all? Maybe about a good 30 minutes. Oh boy, I have a hard time with those red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. I've I've never actually been to a game before. But we have all the big teams here. But I haven't kept track of whether they did change the name or not. Is that where the uh, the Cavs play? Yeah. The Rocket Mortgage. Yep. I can't even keep track of these names. I still call it the Jake, and of course it's progressive field now, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Oh, it's like a, a... They're in the playoffs, right? Yeah, I think they are, right? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Guardians. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we are in the Larson Texan uh, building in the uh, Big Ideas Learning. Uh, building and uh, this used to be an old elementary school that we've added on to a couple times. We're doing some remodeling right now again. And uh, Grant Larson Productions that does the film and video work is located right here in the studios right over there. Which we'll be heading into right now. Oh, really cool. Figure out where everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. So um, I don't know if you've seen that, but we have thousands. Let's see. Did we do this all the way down to this one? Maybe not. Um, we're working our way down from higher ed into high school. Okay. Um, we have thousands of teaching videos. I, I can't, I've lost track. I think maybe about six thousand. Whoa. Yeah. And so what we get is uh, teachers come in and they uh, 
right on the board. You know, the weird thing of it is, is of course, they're standing back here. Yeah. Writing on there, and then we just reverse it in the. Oh, okay. The, you know, the video in camera. So yeah. 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 Although, when you're sitting here, we always have somebody that's uh, just watching as they go to make you know checking for errors. And stuff. Oh yeah. And I did that one whole summer. At the end of the summer, I got so used to reading backwards. I I was writing something down for them and telling them it's like no, no, you know, you made an error here. They're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean? It's, you're writing backwards. <laughs> and after a summer of reading backwards, I was actually writing backwards. So strange. Man, that's, so strange. that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. So this, this what you're seeing here is just the leftovers. Usually it's all cleaned out. Mm -hmm. um, okay, F of X. Yeah. That has been very popular. Kids love that. These yeah. are all just like examples where teachers working through it. Yeah. So it's not just sort of seeing a you know, a, a quick example or an automated example. They're actually seeing what they work through. Different, uh... Yep, there they are. There's uh, textbooks that we use. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Very cool. Hello. This, this is definitely... Well, here you can see all the LeBron's books. Eighth grade, seventh grade, yep. 50 years of, of work. Not too cold out, but it is. Hey, what's up? Not too cold out, but it is kind of chilly. I am having fun though. Let's go back in and go to sleep. I have not even slept. Um, I think at most I only slept 30 minutes. But uh, today was pretty cool. So basically, let me uh, explain what we did today. Uh, the uh, Big Ideas Math Textbook Company the same uh, company that Tuba City Boarding School uses uh, invited me to come out here to Pennsylvania and shoot a series of math videos. I guess the important emphasis here is that we have a representation of indigenous peoples. It's important that our indigenous students, our indigenous scholars, when they open the textbooks, they see themselves. I'm not really used to talking to myself here by myself, you know. Alright, it's getting kind of cold, so I might as well head in. basically almost 5 a.m. right now so I'm ready to go to be picked up and taken to the airport so I'm gonna leave Pennsylvania in a bit and then head to Chicago layover flight and then head home um, pretty excited about going home I miss my son and um, I don't like being away from him check out now See you later, room. Thank you for taking care of me. Okay. 
Okay, just gotta wait for my ride to the airport and just hang out. By the way, Pennsylvania is on the other side of the US. We're about two hours from New York City. And I think another two hours from Pittsburgh. And I think about 45 minutes from Buffalo and an hour from Toronto. So big shout out to my son's mom for allowing me to do things like this. Okay, it looks like my ride's here. Hey, how are ya? There we go. We're going from Erie to Chicago. We gotta check into our security. Alright, we're about to go home. This looks familiar. <laughs> so happy to see you, truck. Take only what you need. You don't you don't need to take a lot of stuff. Just the essentials. Remember, ounces equals pounds, and pounds equals pain. All right, let's get out of town. Okay, back in the truck, and barely even making it, man. Look at that ceiling. I'm really close to um, seen up my the cab of the truck barely making it oh look at this one will I barely it's crazy whoa okay take off this way exit so I still have like another four hours to drive 
back to Tuba City. All right, yeah, we definitely want to exit. Man, that is delicious. In and out burger. The last thing I ate, or actually the only thing I ate today, was a cheese Danish from uh, Starbucks this morning when I landed in uh, Chicago. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty hungry. I think anything tastes really good when you're really hungry. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, exactly the reason why I, I gain weight. Why is it food that tastes really good is also really unhealthy? I mean, there's like healthy food you can definitely make that uh, taste really good too. That's my problem there. This is my diet. My life is pretty much just on a go, 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 go. I don't know how to settle down. I don't know how to relax. I really don't know what a vacation is. I'm either working year round or I find something to do during those breaks that would help native people. Um, for example, uh, math camps, uh, STEM day camps. Uh, if not that, then it's like math circles. Um, or it's um, one thing we're doing too with Northern Arizona University is it's grant writing um, for a robotics curriculum that we're making culturally relevant for Navajo students. Um, a lot of good stuff, but I think one of the most laziest things that we can do, I'm doing it right now, and that's staying busy and you know, as you're busy, you forget to take care of yourself. And that's kind of where I'm at. That's my biggest problem is staying healthy. I think it's a struggle. Um, and it all started back in uh, 2020 when we had the pandemic. Um, when I was teaching from home, I, uh, I just wore like a polo and I taught like a uh, with sweatpants on or shortcuts and um, yeah so basically excuse me on zoom you could only see like pretty much, probably like my chest up right as I did like my presentations and I did my math lessons and stuff like that and food was accessible food was easy to get and one thing that I didn't do was I didn't plan my meals out, I didn't meal prep, I didn't, I wasn't really into, um, you know, physical fitness, I just kind of got lazy and complacent, and that behavior carried over, and I just got, I made myself really busy to the point where I told myself, I don't have time, I don't have enough time in a day, um, but I see that, uh, I see that issue a lot. And it's a big issue. So um, what I would like to do is, I downloaded this uh, app called First Form. It has a lot of uh, workout videos. I have. Sorry about that, my battery died. But as I was saying, we live on food islands. And we have this big carbon footprint to travel a long way just to get fresh produce, just to feed our families. But, you know, we had to find a more sustainable way to get back to our roots with our traditional Navajo wisdom, traditional uh, indigenous wisdom of being self-efficient, self-reliant, and getting back to growing our own crops and learning how to can and being healthy that way. Uh, instead of being dependent on bashes, and, I mean, you, you saw what happened with the uh, pandemic, how the stores cleared out and everybody was going crazy. Um, 
So how do we become self-sufficient? That's a, a really good question. But, you know, this is stuff that we know, knowledge that we already have. It's just the action we had to put behind it. Okay, so I'm going to hit the road now. Get back home. I miss my family. So, we'll see you guys. Thank you.